Hey everyone, Doug from Convology here. Some exciting news, WooCommerce is now completely compatible with Thrive Theme Builder. Or I guess it's the other way around. Thrive Theme Builder is now completely compatible with WooCommerce. And they've done some amazing first steps to let you customize the product pages, shop pages, checkout pages, account pages, and so on. And I think since this is such a great start to a, hopefully a more robust integration, I wanted to take a few minutes and walk through some of these great additions so that we can understand them better together. Okay, the first thing you have to do, of course, after installing Thrive Theme Builder and installing WooCommerce is go into Thrive Theme Builder and on the left hand side of the setup wizard, you want to find WooCommerce and you want to click on activation. I've already activated mine, but you're going to see a button that simply says like activate something to that effect. Click that button and what that's going to do is download the templates that you need in order to start making these customizations. If you don't do this step, it will still work, but you'll be missing out on a lot of the features. So definitely come here first and activate. Next step, we want to take a look at some of the templates that they've given you and given us to work with. So here we are in the templates. How I found this was on the left hand side of Theme Builder, I went to templates and then up here, this grayish box, when you click on that, you normally see uh, typically all of your core templates. So let me jump there real quick. These are the core templates and you'll find a few of the WooCommerce ones listed here like shop and product. But to see all of those templates, drop down here and choose WooCommerce under the custom post templates. So here we go, they've made quite a few of them. They have a default product, which I've made a couple tweaks to, and I've added a product on this demo site for us to look at. They've got a checkout template, an account template, and a cart template. So those are your four main templates that you work with. And they've given us a couple little uh, templates to play with. For example, if we don't like product 01, we have product 02, 03, and 04, and then a simple product page. I think they've done pretty good there. The default being product 01, that's your traditional WooCommerce layout. You love it or you hate it. I think it's fine and I think we can make it look really good with Theme Builder. So let's jump in and take a look at the default product 01 template and what we can do. So here we are, I've added my test product. I gave it the name test product, I gave it a price and then I discounted it so we could see what that looks like. And I've added a ipsum text for my short description and my long description and that's it otherwise this is what it looks like when you load up woocommerce in a default thrive theme builder installation i have to say this looks really really good and let's walk through some of the things that i think are going to be really powerful for us to use when building e-commerce sites with thrive theme builder the first thing that i noticed was this awesome top section so on the left hand side here under the main options, Thrive Theme Builder has header, top, content, bottom, and footer, right? That's the general hierarchy of a page. And we can turn any of these off with a click. But this top section that they've added, I think is awesome. And I'm going to use this on my shops because look at some of the ideas that they came up with. Icons and text for free shipping, info about returns, info about secure payments. These are all those like, um, I guess trust signals is what you would call them, right? Those trust signals are those things that you want to show right away when someone lands on a page. Uh, a lot of other sites put those right under the, the shopping cart button. Uh, I know another theme called Cadence, which I do highly recommend, allows you to turn them on down here. And while that's great, how awesome is it that you can just see them right up here in the top section? And what's really cool about this is that's this is entirely customizable. I could literally put anything up here that I want. I just expand the element tray and I look to see what I'd like to add. Now, first thing that jumped out at me when I did that was the WooCommerce elements. Take a look at these. We have the cart widget, the product categories widget, the product search widget, the product tag cloud, a general products widget, the review, uh, the viewed products widget, excuse me, and then the rating widget, and then the recent products. All right, that was a lot, but essentially these are your default WooCommerce elements in any theme if you're going to use WooCommerce, you're going to be looking at these particular elements. So we won't drag those in because they're technically mostly already on our page, but what if we wanted to add an image into this top section on the page? You just simply drag and drop it, and there you've got an image, right? I don't have many images on my demo site, but you get the idea. Completely customizable with Thrive Architect. And if you don't want it, just turn it off, and you still have a very clean, modern looking traditional shopping cart. 
this is something we could not do with Thrive Theme Builder, which was really disappointing for a long time. Now, let's take a look at what's actually generating the bulk of this template, and that's the product element. So this product element is not customizable entirely, right? When you click on the product element here, on the left-hand side under the product display options, we can toggle things on and off. We can toggle the title, the price, the short description, the add to cart button, the meta of the product, that's like category, SKU, things like that, and the review tab. Then we have the ability to go into the product gallery and we can choose the width of that gallery and if we want to allow the magnifier, that's when you hover over an image. In fact, let me go ahead and just hit preview on this so I can show you that. This magnifier right here, that's actually if you zoom in on the product, hit escape to get rid of that. But if you hover over the product, it magnifies, right? And I've uploaded a few demo images for us to look at. We can disable that effect with the magnifier. We can always also choose the gallery width. Mine's at 408, but we could make that bigger or we could make that smaller to suit our product needs. And then we can also choose the columns that we'd like for the gallery. If I only had two images, maybe I'd want to do a column, two columns. If I had four, maybe four. Since I have three, I set it to three. The next thing we can enable is the upsell product section. That's typically down towards the bottom. When you scroll down or typically somewhere within here, when you have other products to sell and you say people who purchase uh, this product are also interested in this product. Uh, and then you have related products, which are things like, I think it's category based in WooCommerce. So let's say my particular product was a tablet. Let's say this was the iPad Pro and I also had another iPad, maybe the iPad mini, right? Maybe I would list those as related products. So those are the controls we have. Something I would like to see in the future, and I admit this is really hard to do, is the ability to anywhere on this page, be able to click on an element and manipulate it like I normally do inside of Thrive Architect simple example the button right I can't click on that or the font or the size of anything I can't I can't control those things at a granular level I do see though on the right hand side we have the central panel style the central panel style does influence design elements so I can change this default to another color and it will change those things like the smart style editor does throughout this template which I think is pretty cool we can change it to orange, pink, blue, whatever color we'd like. And then we can change all of the other template neutral default colors. So there is some level of customization, like I said, but I feel like it's it's missing just another little step that makes Thrive Architect so, so good. Now, to their defense, that is really, really hard to do on a page builder. So hopefully they make it happen. I know it's possible. Um, Fingers crossed it comes in the future, but for now, this is totally good enough for me. This is going to inherit my fonts from my from Thrive Theme Builder. This is the default uh, H1, default, uh, what do we call it, paragraph text. So I'm okay with this. This is more than a great start. And then just for reference here, under the product section, um, under the template settings here, we can adjust the layout. So for example, if my site was a 900 width layout, I could change to that or if it was 1200, like I like a lot of my sites to be, I could switch to a 1200 layout. Uh, I really do think though that the default of 1080 really does look nice. I think carts with a, a little bit of a narrow layout look nicer. That's my opinion. Okay, that's the product page template. And again, we have quite a few that they've given us. So if I jump into here, we can take a look at, for example, let's, let's see product three. We'll look at two of these right now. Product three, is essentially the exact same thing, but they've done some design tweaks for us, right? They've given us a sidebar. They've given us a hero section, right? I call this the hero design section. It's the big image that takes your featured image or your product image, puts it in the background. Now, depending on your product image, that looks great or looks terrible. This one looks okay. And then you have your, your product name up here. That's okay. I mean, generally, generally speaking, this isn't bad. Um, I don't really love sidebars in e-commerce pages. I think it can hurt conversion, but this looks nice. Um, I also like this bottom section. That's something we didn't really touch on on the previous um, template here. The, the bottom section, you can turn it on and off and completely customize it. So that could be maybe an opt-in. It can be info here. They've got like a discount code, whatever you want it to be. I think that's the whole point of Theme Builder. Design your template however you like. And now you have those complete controls. 
So go ahead and take some time, look through some of these other demos that they've got going uh, for us. I stuck with product 01, I liked that one the best. So let's next take a look at the checkout page. This is the uh, checkout experience. And I'm currently making another video that goes over how to use cart flows with Thrive Theme Builder, which um, cart flows is an awesome WooCommerce uh, sales funnel builder, uh, which I highly recommend. I'll put a link in the description, of course, and on the tutorial I'm making. Um, but here we go. This is the default checkout experience for Thrive Theme Builder. It looks really good. Actually, it looks remarkably similar to cart flows, which was kind of alarming, right? This looks actually really, really good. Um, so what you can do here is, again, complete control over the checkout. Let's say I wanted to put this into columns. Open this up, do a search for columns, drop that into the section. Let's say I wanted a two-third, one-third layout. I would take this, drop that inside my checkout experience. Kind of looks terrible because it's already two columns by itself, but work with me here. Let's Let's drop in a few things. We could add testimonials, right? So let's say, um, or maybe not testimonials, let's see if they have any guarantees. Let's drop a guarantee box in, right? Maybe you're selling a product and you're like, you know what? This product comes with 100% uh, 30-day money-back guarantee. That looks absolutely terrible. But if we unwrap that, if that even lets us, it doesn't. All right, so that was a really bad example because that one wasn't uh, gonna fit really well. But let's drop another one in and see if we can make that look a little bit better. We're doing this live. Um, here we go. This should look a little better. There we go. So we can drop things in, right? We can drop a guarantee box in. We can drop testimonials from clients or customers. We can drop in info about upsells, other products that we have, right? Doing this, we can pull in some WooCommerce options. If I wanted somebody to see... Um, Oh, I don't know, maybe upsells. I don't actually have any other products on this, but let's say I brought in a recently viewed products or even just the product widget itself. That'll work. So for example, in this products widget, um, let's say I chose which products I wanted to show here. So I would call this, or customers also bought. And now this is a customers also bought widget where I can kind of upsell people or cross sell people on on what's in my shop so that's really cool and instead of all products you can show products that are featured you can show products that are on sale uh, you can order them differently hide free ones um, pretty cool thing pretty much do whatever you want um, and you, you can get granular you can also pull in the post list this is another trick that they introduced not too long ago where for example let's do oh i don't know let's just pick one real quick just pick the default one right you can edit, you can filter the posts, and instead of post, choose product, and you can insert that, and that actually pulls a product post type for my product that I can now edit the design for, and suddenly, in real time as I'm talking here, and not doing a great job, I'm building a product listing that I could run down the side of my checkout page that showed other products, and then I can get really granular with this, and I can choose to filter out how many I want, how many columns I want to have, uh, things like that. So lots of customization here. It's something I want you to think about as you start putting together your own templates, just the degree to which you can customize this experience. All right, let's close that and not save. Let's look at real quick the account page and the cart page. So the account page, this is where your users go to view their account. If you have a subscription-based site, um, if you have a product, virtual product download section, if you have licenses, if you have anything that integrates with WooCommerce, you're gonna find all of that here. Um, this is actually really cool because when people log into their account to get things, you can now give them a customized experience using Thrive. Again, we can do the same thing we did with columns. We can do the same thing where we can update the top section, which is breadcrumbs in this example. We can put opt-ins. We can even, if we wanted to, put, I started searching here for products, right? Let's put our products widget, let's just do it directly above it, right? We could actually start listing products in the checkout page. That's awesome. Um, so again, wrap your mind around how you can edit this page to provide a custom experience and maybe even create a custom dashboard for your users if, I don't know, if your membership site, right? Like if you're using wishlist member and you integrate with WooCommerce, well, 
now you actually have a customizable member dashboard. That's super cool. All right, the last template we're gonna look at as we walk through this together is the WooCommerce cart. This is what you see when someone adds something to their cart and they go to the cart page to check out. Really cool, uh, not to sound like I'm repeating myself too much, but we have the top and the bottom that we can edit on this and then totally customize it, right? If you're using this, this very traditional flow of product page to cart page to checkout page to account page, then this looks pretty good. Now, in my next tutorial, I'm going to talk about using cart flows, which cuts this step out entirely. So if you're uh, building a site that's like single product based, maybe you have one flagship product or you're trying to really have tight sales funnels, we're gonna go over how to cut this page out, put it all in one page and create a more streamlined checkout experience. Anyway, what's cool is that all this is completely achievable now with Thrive Theme Builder. So that was a quick look at what they've added and the experience that we now have. I'm gonna dig in, I'm gonna start adding this to a lot of my e-commerce sites. I have a couple clients who were waiting to start projects with me until this was a feature that was available. Now that it is, um, I know they're gonna be very happy. So if you have any questions about WooCommerce and Thrive Theme Builder, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and let me know. I'd be happy to address any questions you have. I use this every day, so this is gonna be really exciting to use. All right, again, guys, this was Doug from Convology. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, guys, I have one more message before I go. I started a Facebook group for people who are interested in Thrive Themes and using Thrive Themes to accomplish really cool things. Right now, it's a brand new group. There's less than 10 members, but if you join the group, you can jump in, share what you're working on, ask questions, get help, contribute to the community, and together we can build something where everyone can come together in a place where we all can learn and benefit from each other's collective experiences. So right now I'm kind of considering it a mastermind type group. It's completely open. Feel free to request to join and I'll approve it. In the future, we might close it up. We might start to only let certain people in, but for now it's open and everyone who is interested in Thrive Themes is welcome to join. So I hope to see you in the Facebook group. There's gonna be a link in the write-up and in the description of this video. You can click on that and join the group. Hope to see you there.